Okay. Here we go. These, here it is on a mesh. And um, this was basically the last strap that I got after the, the NATO's in the back there, uh, which I'll show after this. And I guess this is the next most casual one. Uh, maybe it's about the same in, in a different way as these. I don't know. Um, I don't consider a mesh like this very formal. But I, I wanted to see how this would look like on a bracelet of some sort. This watch. And um, I was thinking about it. And, you know, this is not a dive watch. So I really wasn't think, feeling that um, a dive style um, bracelet such as an oyster uh, would really work on this. You know, something with links. Uh, it might be okay, but that wasn't my first impression impression and usually those those um those dive uh bracelets i guess like such as an oyster they usually have a a clasp and it's a, i guess a, a dive style you know it's a fold and it, and it locks and all that and it probably will be okay but you know i thought maybe this watch deserves something a little bit more elegant and less tooly and um and I was thinking, you know, I think a mesh might work. It's just basically a metallic band, like a fabric. Um, yeah, just made out of stainless steel. And there we go. And um, I was apprehensive about, um, you know, um, getting a mesh, actually, uh, because I had a bad experience before. And... I had one that came with a watch, and um, and for the record, it was an Invicta. <laughs> yes, back in the days, many years ago. Uh, I have since grown up. No, no, they make great watches, actually, still. But um, I'm not into that oversized stuff anymore. And they do have some select watches that are actually pretty damn good quality for the money. Uh, so, I know people joke about it all the time, and... You know, I don't know. It, it's probably that they're oversized stuff that people are thrown off by and they're wacky styles. But, um, you know, actually, I was attracted to that. It's different, you know. It's something you don't see. And I wasn't into the more conservative styles, such as, you know, if you, you see my Rolex, the 6426, um, you know, even the Submariner. It seems like a very typical uh, dive watch. Um uh, and it is, actually, but um, oh, that's another discussion. But anyways, um, yeah, so the mesh that I had on that other, that, that other watch was probably cheap. It was, I believe it was thicker, and it was a, the watch was black PVD. I don't know if it has anything to do with it, and, and the mesh match. But it kept pulling on my little micro hairs, which was very annoying. It's like getting a little, you know, prick, prick all these times, and it's, oh, it, that was not fun. But after a long time, and I started thinking about this, I was like, you know, I'll give it a try. And I, you know, you look at the reviews, and no one ever said any problems. And I asked, and uh, I think they're good now. At least if you spend good money on a quality mesh bracelet, it'll fit and feel good, and you shouldn't have any problem. And that's the case with this. This is a Watch Gecko uh, Milanese uh, mesh bracelet. They come in all sorts of um, uh, finishes. This is a polish, shiny one. Uh, it's going to go stainless, I mean, uh, brushed, but I don't have enough brush on my watch. So I was like, you know, I don't think it's going to work. And if I really wanted to, I suppose I could take like a, a, pat, a scrub pad or something and, and do a, a brush finish myself someday. Or maybe from where it's going to dull. So, but I think this works. Um, yeah, I am pleasantly surprised by this and, and, and I do like it as an, another alternative uh, look for this watch um, at first I you know I did try it on the weekend on a Sunday and I was thinking you know um, this is kind of what I would think is a, a you know a nice uh, different uh, weekend band to make it into a weekend watch you know something about this feels like a weekend thing uh, but you know you buy word on the weekday or whatever and I probably shouldn't hold any limits on that and um but anyways this is um 
pretty nice band for around 30 35 dollars or so you can check the watch gecko website and um you can and i was checking online to compare this and some other ones and people were saying oh do you want a ten dollar one or do you want to spend more like 30 and up and it is probably worth it usually to go with a nicer mesh because it's just will be made better and and the class will be you know fitted and and just everything will just come together better because some of the cheap ones to look out for is they don't have a certain kind of uh, uh, flexibility to them and one thing to keep in mind too is the mesh this is very it's straight you know across it doesn't it doesn't skew or slant to the side because it was cut funny or made weird it's uh it's just right and that's something to look out for and it just hasn't really pulled on my hair so that's great um and i think it's a nice look and you know with these you can always get a custom fit because you just you know just there's a this thing you flip up and then you just slide this in where you want and then flip it back and lock it down and then you pull it on the only thing about these that i gotta be careful is is most of you know I guess like a, a two-piece band, um, you know, if you're not if you're trying to fit it with this, you want to make sure this side doesn't somehow whoop, flip over and just drop on the floor or something worse. Um, so just make sure you're over something that if it drops, it's padded or you're not too high off of a surface for it to damage the watch. So you just got to fit it back here. And it just hooks onto like a bar, if you can see right in there. And then snap it down and that's it pretty secure i mean there's a chance that you maybe you'll catch something that's a flip out but highly unlikely um and i think it's a nice you know modern metallic look i mean i guess it's kind of retro some people say um but this is it um and uh next we'll go through the nato straps